InfoWars hijacks Katy Perry for clickbait. InfoWars writer Paul Joseph Watson says new Katy Perry song encourages anti-Trump riots on Twitter and InfoWars.com. The lyrics make reference to liars and the empire, clearly placing it in a political context, Watson says. Hollywood Life says the songstress released Chain to the Rhythm featuring Skip Marley. During the third verse, he says, break down the walls to connect, inspire. I, up in your high place, liars, time is ticking for the empire. The truth is that it is feeble. I saw it many times before. The greed of all the people. We're stumbling, we're crumbling, and we're about to riot. They woke up, they woke up the lions. According to Wikipedia, Skip Marley is a Jamaican singer-songwriter, the son of Sidella Marley and maternal grandson of Bob Marley. Watson says, while the dominant culture desperately tries to portray itself as the anti-establishment counterculture, the only real counterculture is the new brand of conservatism that helped sweep Trump to victory in the first place. Katy Perry's song does not mention Donald Trump, or encourage anti-Trump riots, as Paul Joseph Watson writes on Twitter, InfoWars, and PrisonPlanet.com. Watson is openly lying. Either Watson is lying, or InfoWars Prison Planet Warden Alex Jones and his boy Watson automatically assume Bob Marley's grandson Skip is talking about Donald Trump when he raps the words liars and empires in a Katy Perry song. My guess is that Paul Joseph Watson has never heard the 1977 song White Riot by The Clash. The Clash wants a riot, a white riot, a riot of their own. Now that is how you call for riots with a song.